I really liked how the author was describing the garden, the texture of the garden, the feel of the garden. It's just very vivid, the description that um, the image of the garden just started to come alive while I was reading the novel. You know, when, before I started this project, I didn't really know much about Malaysia um, at all. Upon doing more research and learning about the history of Malaysia, it was at the same time fascinating to see that there is a close resemblance to the history of where I'm from, which is Taiwan, which was also under the Japanese rule, well, for a longer time. It's fascinating and it's, it's comforting to know that it doesn't have to be a definitive identity for what we call race and what we call country. The difference of humanity, it's broken up in a way that here we can start to see people for who they are and not where they came from and not what they look like and not what they speak. The Japanese garden is at the same time humbling yet still trying to have control. But conflicting ideas are what makes us human. For me, I mean, the existence of a Japanese garden is very human in the fact that it shows our humbleness towards nature, but then our ambition towards control. It is conflicting, and, um, but then again, is what makes us human beings and what makes us beautiful in a way. That's sort of how I see the Japanese garden. This story is uh, somewhat complicated, like life is. I think uh, all of us, especially when we become adults, realize that sometimes when we look back at things that happen, whether it be good or bad, we realize that it is complicated. Life is never so straightforward. And the Garden of the Evening Mist does put those challenges, put those questions to the audience. Uh, hopefully, you know, the tension comes through where you sometimes wonder, do you hate or do you cherish? Do you smile or do you cry? And sometimes it's really a mixture of the both uh, together. You know, life is sometimes bittersweet and hopefully the Garden of the Evening Mist has captured that combination really well. And I hope viewers in this region and throughout the world will delight themselves in finding this bittersweet movie. In the world today where there is so much about internationalism and nationalism, the movement of people, the barriers between people, I think it's wonderful that this intercultural love story is told and that these characters from different backgrounds interacting with each other without any prejudice. Yeah, yours. I read the book before reading the script, which is, which is a really nice, pleasant way to start a job. The interesting journey has been having read the book and having your own imagination fill in the gaps. And sort of, so you, you imagine what these houses will look like and you sort of try and figure out what they might be. The real challenge with this wasn't so much distilling the book, it was more imposing a different form onto the story that would really make it work as well as a film. Because Twining's novel is just so beautiful, but it's very much written to be a novel. So it was, it was clear to me, and I think to the whole team, that the film was going to have to be its own thing, its own version of the same story. So one of the earliest breakthroughs I think I made was a decision to make the creation of the garden, this struggle that Yun Ling and Aratomo are having together to build this garden, and then the, the relationship between them that's evolving and becoming more complex, making that really the spine for the whole film, and so that we understand that symbolically their ability to create that garden is going to, it's going to symbolize her ability to actually find peace at the end of all of this. And once I'd made that decision, then it was a case of going to the book and figuring out what from the book served that purpose, rather than just picking and choosing you know, all the best scenes that you like, which I think would have just been a soup of a film. There were difficult decisions all along the way, 
but I think you have to do what's best for the, the film and let the film be its own thing. I always hope I can be able to play my favorite characters. So when I saw the first time I read the book, I was very excited. Because I really loved the story and the character of Yunlin. Especially with it and with it. 中村有朋之间，这个跨越啊，民族仇恨、恐惧的，呃，这份我觉得是很很深的爱情。It's proven impossible. The only way I can honor her now. 开拍以后，我觉得更大的挑战就是要让自己在精神上和体力上有强大的这个能力去。全是云林，这个非常，呃，可以说是很悲剧的一个人生。当我们拍到某一些非常沉重的呃气氛的时候，哇，我就会有一种很好像被掏空的这种虚脱感。書籍を読んで、歴史や文化や策定や彫り物を勉強しましたし、あと古いドキュメンタリーの映像も見ました。策定家の先生や日本のその茶道の先生に、まあ日本の書作とかね、そういうものも教授していただきたいと思ってお話を伺いました。この作品の中に日本人として自分も知らなかったことが多く。盛り込まれていると思いますし、映ってると思います。You're right. Will you tell me about the camera? I want to hear. もう今の時代、一時間半到着かねますね。やめろ。We can't be working on the garden now. Don't tell me. I don't understand. You will never understand. It was a big, a big melting pot of of different cultures, lots of different yes, like the Chinese, the the Malays, the Indians, the English. Yeah, there was a huge difference in all sorts of costumes. Well, I sort of like all periods because every period has something amazing in it, and there's many things I like about it, like the shapes and the accessories and the the gloves and the hats and the shoes and the bags and the glasses and Lots of things. Actually, our narration method, I think, is not very local to look at this story. From another perspective, look at Malaysia's history. What was Malaysia's situation at that time? 过去的马来西亚的那些像像是 copy t i m 那些必须要保留下来的东西，因为它又在混合很多很多元的国家，就是各种种族那些传统的东西都会是非常，反而是非常凸显的。那个地方，呃，其实不是看景致片推荐我们的地方，我们只是经过那里，然后就发现，哇、哦，那旁边有一个小溪流，看到最前面有那个湖，然后我就说，就是这里了。即便它其实根本就是荒地，盖那个房子的时候，第一个就是要把荒地夷为平地，那时候就是每天都是很大的雷雨。一根桩一根桩一根桩的下去都没有对准，又要重来。经过了很多很多的重来，后来我才自己去山上去挑了那个树，一棵一棵种种下去。
个地方我几乎可以看得到云林，就是从沿着小溪这样子下来，而且是穿过森林，它就是上游、中游跟下游。从这里你就可以呃让观众去串联到他们的关系位置。后来我想，为什么会一直有这个东西出现？那个小溪流到底是想要告诉我们什么？不属于同一个国家或者不属于同一个地方来的的事情，我们顺着小溪流，其实最后都 mix 在一个湖或是大海里面。所有的一切都是在讲 mix 这件事情。The look of the film, I think, is decided by, uh, like, I had a certain uh, idea first in mind about. We, we, I looked at a bunch of paintings. I suggested a lot of painters and photographers to Tom. Uh, he suggested a lot of films to me. When we started talking about uh, throwing out different ideas as referencing everything, so that's the way I think we arrive at the look of the film. We have kind of tried to maintain. A different style of shooting and a different style of uh, lighting, a little bit, as far as the 1980s and the 1950s and the uh, 40, 40s are concerned. Yun Lane, have you found anything useful? I found his passport. Only one entry into Malaya. 1937. I am Nakamura Aritomo. How can I help you? You can stay and work. You will know everything to create Sister's Garden. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Watching us work like this for you. Outside world, always there. Only control we have is choosing how to see. I'm not your responsibility. Made yourself my responsibility. From the moment we met. Hey, I'm Yun Xing Ling. Today, I'm going to have my own garden. You're Yun Ling. 我希望你知道，你自己喺度做紧啲乜嘢。To forget the garden, stay with me. Please don't. 你哋系咪人嚟噶？我惊你咩？我有咩冇惊你噶？ Yuri, will you tell me about the camp? I want to hear. I think my character is, in some way, a representation of uh, ultimately what the script, not teach, but suggest, you know, that there is redemption more in forgiveness and understanding uh, rather than uh, continued animosity. Uh, I think Magnus is a very symbolic character. In that sense, he's married to uh, a Chinese woman and therefore represents the best of 
cultures coming together. Actually, I think the most interesting scene was when the Japanese was shooting at Yunhong to see her father. Oh, my God! 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 Go through Yun Hong 之前他发生过的事情，我化了妆的时候就一直流眼泪，我就完全已经进入那个角色的状况了。呀，现在想回去还是有那个情绪在，就那个情绪也来得很真实。The reason I took up the role is because Xin Jie, because I have to play the outer part of Yun Ling, she is somebody who is very precise. She's a judge, and after you know what ha happened to her, all her life is、uh, is very tragic. And she carries such a, you know, it's a huge time of、uh, regrets and sorrows in her. That's what she became. After 30 years, you know, I'm still here. I still cannot get over. So that's the subtext that's inside of me that make me just just broke down completely. And I thought that was very challenging. And somehow it's an offer that I cannot refuse. <laughs> Tragics always happen in wars. You have family, broken family. You have, you lose the love.、Um, sometimes you, you, you even. Lose your own identity, you know all these tragic things,、uh, sadness of what war can bring. But people always repeat their own mistakes over and over. That's something I, you know, I hope that people will think about after watching this film. Everlastingly. 